It was the <laughs> setup the entire time. What's going on everyone? In today's video, I was meeting up with Joshua Taylor and Chris Canning over at Salty Scales and we're meeting up at the Skyway Fishing Pier. We're gonna be targeting mangrove snapper. I brought with me a bucket of live shrimp, but we also went out with some sabiki rigs and tried to catch some live pilchards around the pilings. You like my uh, makeshift uh, sabiki weight? I will take that. For the grouper, you want the pins though, right? Yeah. I got a good one. We're working hard for these baits. I just show up. There we go. There we go. Caught two of them. So I don't want to jinx anything, but I did get a bag of ice for my Yeti. So if I could get a couple snapper or something, then I'll, I'll be a happy man. Got one. Two. I'll go get the shrimp. Bro, just let you know, anything we say, do not take it <laughs> I never take anything seriously, Especially so you're good. Especially me. That was one. So what do you think is going to be better for the snapper? The greenbacks like this size or the shrimp? Well, probably the shrimp as you run it, the thin fish. Yeah. But uh, the greenbacks actually smaller than that are going to be the best for the snapper. Oh yeah, the little fry bait ones. Yeah. yeah. Swap so. What kind of juicy one I got in there? You think they'll eat one of these dead ones? I'll oh, eventually eat dead ones. I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's still fresh. So we got little small greenbacks right here that they got with uh cast that. I made a little Carolina rig with an egg weight up here with a couple beads, slides on the section of leader right here. And then just got a double uni to a section of 20 pound fluorocarbon that leads to this uh, size one circle hook right here. I'm gonna take this little, little greenback. He's already dead. Just hook him right up through the mouth. I'm gonna send him out there, see if we can get a snapper. Is there anywhere out there? Yep, straight out. A little further than that. Okay. Okay, so is it just like debris from the old bridge out there? Yeah. yeah. So right now I got my Pen Battle 4000 with 20 pound braid on my Mojo Inshore 76 foot uh, medium power rod. On this Carolina rig, sit out there with that little greenback. Might throw on a shrimp or a bigger greenback and see if we can pick up some of these snappers that are on these random little rock piles that are out here. I think it's a snapper though. I'll get you on this GoPro. Yeehoo! I'm actually recording. It's not a bad one. Actually, it might be a keeper. Not a monster by any means, but. Not yes. terrible. Yes. Yes. I got one. Look at this. Brent came prepared. The only one. There you go. All right, let's see. Oh, he's over 10. He's 11, 11. inches, man. You got a keeper. That's a, sna that's a sandwich. <laughs> We just moved spots right here to a different rock pile down the down the pier. And Josh just dropped one bait in and caught a keeper sized mangrove. So now it's my turn. Alright guys, so what you didn't see, which I might have rinse to uh, but my battery died. <laughs> No, don't put that evil on me. No joke. Here you go. That's a snapper, I think, and that's a keeper, and I don't have it on video. I'm filming you. You're good. You got your camera on? 
It's a, is that a snapper? Yeah, it's a good one. That's a good one. Look how pretty that thing is. Oh yeah. That's a good Skyway one anyway. It's another like 11, 12. Yeah, I had to say something. Come on, Brett. Oh, that's line for sure. Oh, you feel it? I Brett? felt it just come off of like. Yeah. There it goes. Did it break or you get it? Uh, I think it broke. Yeah, it broke. Man, that sucks. There you go. Little guy. Actually though. Like a actually though. Oh no. What you got there, Brett? Uh black, black spot. spot down? Yeah. Oh. Boo. Pinfish. See you, dude. All right. I didn't get shut out. I don't know how much uh, credit I'd need to give that. Yeah. Welcome to the Skyway. All right, this is the cast. Good one. Call my, call my shot. Oh. Let's check it out right now. This one. Oh, like, didn't even feel a bite. Just started running. Hey. I'm so bad at fishing. Hey, hang on. <laughs> let's, uh, let's chum this rock pile up. Can we get a bunch of these things? We'll put a bunch in the bucket. Put some fresh water on and chum them up. It's gonna fire it up. Get them fired up a little bit. Yeah, fire it up everywhere. Oh, the birds are gonna love this. Yeah. Oh. Alright. <laughs> oh, I got a I got a thump on it. I don't want you not to catch anything. Is that what a snapper looks like? <laughs> He said, you're out of your mind. <laughs> that's a keeper. You're on them now. That's a, yeah, that's because we chummed them up. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch up my rig. That's a keeper there. That might be a grouper though. He's coming up. Oh, that is a good snapper. That's a big snapper. That's a good one. All right, guys. That's the big snap of the day so far. So as you guys can see, I'm not good at fishing the Skyway. <laughs> How? Where's the dolphin? <laughs> Where's the dolphin? You're good. I don't get it. Hey. You're just better than me. Don't take a picture of my fish. Hey, Brent, you want to use this rod? I'm. I might. Mind if I try your setup? Go right here. Don't mind at all. Here, you want to do the honors? I got to catch the fish. No. I got to take a little break now. I'm on vacation. Yes, we are on the south pier. Okay, here we go. Brent's gonna try the lucky rod, I guess. Yeah, I am. Maybe it'll make a difference. We waxed them today, boys. Put the work in. Come over here. Come back out and do this round too. Get Brent on them. For real. What? Yeah. What? I got him real. I put, I get on his That's setup. Oh, real, real. Brent's gonna break the ice today. Man, you might get a 20 inch. Brent's gonna break the ice. Oh, oh it's not going through. Come on over here. Oh, as a, soon as I get your setup. That is a stud, Brent. Yeah, that is. Brent, Brent, get, get. Oh, now we got to see who has the bigger one. It was the setup the entire time. It was the setup. I literally, tell them how to do their setup. They didn't want to listen to it. I literally grab his round reel for one Holy cast. Holy smoke. And I get a stud. Holy smoke. Get in the sun. That's a beauty. A little fat. 
That's a beauty. That's a, That's a Skyway stud. beauty, boys and girls. I'm gonna go measure this one right quick. Go get your big one. Who's got the oh, bigger man. one? Listen, y'all don't even want to do that. I'm gonna hurt your film. It's gonna be a close one. Let's see how big it is at least. Right there. 15? Yeah, yeah a little over 15. Yeah, yours is really fat. Mine's, mine's, on the I think mine's bigger than that, I think. No. 15 and a half. 15 and a half. You got mine beat by like a quarter this inch. This guy might be longer. No, he's nope. not. Nope. That's a 15 inch snapper nice off fish. the off right. the Skyway. All right, now you guys gotta hold them on next to each other. That fish like, impressive. As soon as I like cast it out there, I'm like, I'm not getting bit. You can't have beads and stuff. I told y'all that. No beads. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not really getting bit right now, am I? Chris always wants to put them big green beads on there and stuff. That's what I. I is not, he has used plenty of beads. There's one. Go, 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 you! Not as big at all. That's a baby one? Mars skin on my Chris. Oh, oh, my bad. Actually, look at the stomach on that thing, Brent. Oh, oh wow. I mean, that's it. Oh, my <laughs> God. Look at how fat this Dude. little, like, nine inch snapper is. They're down there just gorging themselves on this, these little baits. These are some of the fattest snapper. It's all probably because we're chumming. That's exactly what it is. That's, That's wild. So I've caught what? Two, you've caught 20? I, I caught over 20 now. It was right at 20, I think. This is, whoa! See you, dude! <laughs> see you, dude! Does that work? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with a quick little catch and cook here. Got four fillets of mangrove snapper. Uh, gave the rest away to family, so we're just gonna cook it up right quick. And what I'm planning to do is just some good old fish nuggets. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut these up into little bite-sized pieces first, but just to let you know, I got this pan right here heating up to about a medium, medium high heat. So let's go ahead and cut these into little bite-sized nuggets. There we go. Got a bunch of just snapper nuggets right there. And let's go ahead and get the, the breading ready. So over here, we got two little containers. This one just has a good amount of flour in it right now, but we need to get some eggs going. So I'm thinking probably, oh, probably get away with one egg. Now nah, we'll go two. Right there. And then for our flour, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this uh, black and red fish magic and just kind of sprinkle that in there. Just give the flour a little bit more flavor. All right, now that this is starting to heat up, I'm gonna pour a little bit of this corn oil that I have. Usually I'll just use like a vegetable oil, but this will work. Just uh, cover the bottom of the pan, let this heat up. Let's go ahead and bread our fish. So I'm gonna do flour, egg, back to flour. So let's go ahead and put all these fish nuggets in there. Doing this first little bath in the flour helps keep that egg on there and this kind of gives it a better, better coating. So go ahead and shake these up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead, bring these onto this plate, because then we're gonna go straight from the egg back into the flour. So you're gonna make sure you get all your fish out first. There we go. Now go from the flour into the egg. I'm just gonna put a bunch in there. go. Shake this up now. All right, now that we have our fish covered in the egg, oh yeah, they're real sticky. Go ahead, put them right back into the flour. Then we're gonna go straight from this flour 
into the pan. Take our fish, get that second coat of flour on there. Check these out. Oh yeah. So we are ready to go. Let's take your little nuggets, put them right in the oil. And this will not take long. Plate right there. Start flipping them. Oh yeah. So it's been about a minute and a half, two minutes on each side. Getting this nice golden brown. We got George down there being the little cleanup crew. All right. After a couple minutes on that side, should be good to go. Put them on a plate with a little bit of paper towel. And once I get them off, I'm going to sprinkle them with a little bit of salt while they're still hot. Now I'll take them, get a little bit of salt while it's still hot. Sprinkle that over the top. There you go. Mangrove snapper nuggets right there. It's an extremely quick and simple recipe that turns out really good. Babe, do you want to try it? Yes. Pick your one. It might be hot. hot. What does it need, if anything? A dipping sauce? Yeah. It's so good though. You probably whip something up. But. Super simple recipe, only takes you about 10 minutes once you have everything lined up. Uh, give it a shot, let me know, especially if you guys have like a dipping sauce. I've made it like an aioli in the past, that's really good, that'll probably be good with this, but probably just gonna cook up the rest and then chow down, but thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.